Hi traders, this is Andrew Masters from FIBO Group and welcome to my weekly Forex report. To kick off Monday, traders will pay attention to the European session with the release of market manufacturing PMI from France, Germany, the Eurozone as a whole and the US. All numbers came in above 50 last month, which shows the sector is moving forward and another round of strong figures should lend some support to the US dollar and euro. On Tuesday during the Asian session, we'll see the latest interest rate decision from the Reserve Bank of Australia followed by a monetary press conference. The market now expects the RBA to cut rates by 25 basis points in order to boost inflation figures, and we expect the Australian dollar will come under serious pressure surrounding this news. In the American session, we'll see the release of the Personal Consumption Index from the US, which is a key indicator of consumer confidence, and we expect plenty of volatility and trading opportunities in the US dollar. On Wednesday, the highlight of the day will be the release of market services numbers from France, Germany, the Eurozone as a whole, and the US. These numbers also came in above 50 last month, which shows the sector is also moving forward, and another strong round of figures should add some support to the US dollar and euro. Also expected to create some volatility is the release of the latest retail sales figures from the Eurozone, which are expected to hit the market at 1.5% and is well up on last month's figure of 1% and we should see the Euro jump on the release of this expectation. On Thursday, the major news will be during the European session with the release of the latest interest rate decision from the Bank of England, followed by a monetary press statement. The market is pricing in a 50% chance that the central bank will cut rates in order to boost the economy after the Brexit vote and we expect major volatility in the British pound surrounding this news. On Friday, during the Asian session, we'll see a monetary press statement from the Reserve Bank of Australia, which follows on from Tuesday's interest rate decision, and we expect volatility in the Australian dollar. In the American session, the market will await the latest non-farm payrolls figures and unemployment rate from the US. The numbers came in strong last time round, which shows the US economy is moving forward and another strong round of figures should see the US dollar finish the week on a strong note. That's all from me at FIBO Group, and I'll see you all next week.